tribe and welcome to this video in which I want to share with you one of the drills that is part of my training. You can also implement it in your particular training. Basically, I am combining in this drill physical effort. So we have an exercise in which we use some weights. In this specific exercise, we use a kettlebell. I am using one that has 20 kilos, but this is depending, of course, on your endurance, on your physical shape and so on. We need a training knife and I am all the time putting accent on the training knife, on a trainer, because especially when you are working with weights and physical effort and you are under stress and pressure, you can increase the chances of having an injury, of cutting yourself if you are using a real blade. This doesn't mean that all the time your training must be with the trainer. So of course that when we are under pressure, under stress, and we are making solo training, and especially when we are making with partner, of course it's logical, we are using a training blade, but also we must pass from time to time to change it with our real ADC, everyday carry blade, because basically that it will be the one that you need to use it in a life or death situation. We need a kettlebell, we need a training blade, and we need a tourniquet. I have here the tourniquet from Rhino Rescue. It's exactly the same for who knows the cap tourniquet, the combat application tourniquet, only that this, the brand is from Rhino Rescue. It's a very good, uh, if you put it in the balance, the price and the quality, very good product. So we combine all these three items in one drill. Okay guys, before I show you the complete drill, I want to give you some tips and I will start with the tourniquet. For the ones that they are following my uh, channels, my videos, what I'm teaching, probably they know this, but I want to be sure that you understand the importance of respecting some of these elements that will help you decrease the time in which you open and apply a tourniquet. So basically, if I have a tourniquet, it can be a cat tourniquet or the tourniquet from Rhino Rescue, basically it has the Velcro and it's folded together in this kind of position. What I am making in plus is that on the end, on the tip of the uh, tourniquet, I will bend the tip of it so it's remaining like, even if I put it in the pocket, it's remaining like this mini handle. So basically if I need, especially if I'm injured to one hand and I cannot use, the hand is blown up or the nerves, the tendons are damaged so I cannot use anymore this hand to help to open the tourniquet, this will be a very good way in which I can catch that tourniquet when I am with ultra helping with my mouth and open the tourniquet and also after I'm coming, positioning the tourniquet up, this handle will help me to have a better grip on it so I can open it. So basically, if I am going up now to apply the tourniquet, let's say I have a branchial artery lacerated and I want to apply the tourniquet high and tight, I have this here that it will help me much better to open and to have a grip on it. If this tip, it will be in normal position, it will attach with the other part of the Velcro. So making this, taking this with the fingers, it will be very complicated because I remind you in the stress type of situation when the adrenaline is rushing in your body, the fine motor skills will not operate at the same level. So the gross motor skills will take control, fine motor skills like finger activities will not perform at the same level. So this is one of the tips that I recommend for you. Another important tip that I can share with you, and this is applying only when you have the correct or the right closes regarding with this tourniquet because the tourniquet has this velcro so if i put my tourniquet in a pocket where the material it's attached is sticking to the velcro then it will not work so good but if i have a bag or the closes on me are permitting to put this without sticking to that material 
then it will work and it will de decrease the time in which I am opening that tourniquet to apply it. So basically what I'm doing, I'm not folding it in this normal position, Velcro on Velcro, but I'm coming in a reverse way, coming with a tourniquet where is the windlass. So of course, now it will be if you are seeing more bulky and not attaching, but when I will need to take it out to apply it, I only take it in this position and already I have the loop to come on my hand with it. If it will be in a normal position like I am showing you all the time, like this with the Velcro attached and I cannot use, for example, one hand, means that when I deploy it, I must first make this. It's one movement in plus. But again, this is connected to the clothes that you are wearing. Regarding the deployment of the blade, you have so many materials. I was showing you the method in which I am deploying. I make only a resume now. So if you are new, you can watch step by step the deployment. If you are watching for a long time my videos, you can uh, remind yourself what is the technique. So basically I'm carrying in the appendix position my blade. If I want to deploy and I can use the both hands, then the weak hand, it will go in the diagonal towards the opposite leg, catching very good my shirt. It's not a soft hand. I'm not making only this because again, I repeat under stress and pressure, this can result in a failed deployment. So I need a very good grip on the shirt, a very straight and with power grip. I'm sure that I was catching that cloth. I'm coming in diagonal and liberating the space of the blade. The other hand, it's catching the handle, thumb finger like a stopper on the uh, top of the handle of the blade. I'm taking it out, twisting towards my target, the blade. The hand is coming in a type of triangle that it's protecting the axillary artery, left side, intercostal spaces where you can access very easy with a good length blade, the heart, and of course it's coming towards the subclavian artery, shoulder up, protecting the carotid artery. Of course, I remind you, it's not a 100% protection type of guard, but still is giving you more protection than only taking the blade and being in an open type of position. So again, left hand going, catching very good, straight diagonal on my body and liberating the space. I'm not making this in front and taking my blade because it can happen this to block my hand. Of course you can take it from there, but this is also time. So I want from the beginning to liberate the space of the blade so I can catch it, twisting the blade the tip of the blade towards my target, creating a type of protection. This is for the deployment. So, okay guys, now I will show you the complete drill. So basically it's a combination between using the physical effort exercises, deployment of the blade, striking movement and application of a tourniquet, trauma medicine. So it's very important to understand that in a violent encounter, all these things will happen. So the physical effort, it will help you to simulate some of the changes that are happening in your body in the moment in which you are in a flight, fight or freeze response. Increasing of the respiration, increasing of the heartbeats, blood is redirected to big groups of muscles. Then combination with the trauma medicine. Why? All the time, if you understand that combat means also injuries, and especially when we talk about fire weapons or in this case blades, we need to have basic trauma medical skills. So if you are making uh, separately the training regarding the trauma medicine, it's also good. But we must program our brain to be able to perform all the activities in connection. So if I use the blade and I need to eliminate, to incapacitate my target and maybe I'm injured, I must program my brain to be able to perform very fast the connection 
the transition between what it was happening, the fight, to the trauma medicine to apply the tourniquet. So when you make them together, it's a much better training for the brain and for memorizing that particular response in a certain situation. So I have here basically, I am using a 20 kilos kettle belt. Yeah, it's what I am having in this moment. I have also others of 10 kilos. This is depending a lot of your physical shape, as I said at the beginning. So don't force yourself from the beginning. So you accidentate, you are injuring yourself. Use something that it's uh, okay for your level in that particular moment. And in time you can increase, of course, the weight and so on. So I will tell you very short how is the drill then i will perform it for you and you will be able to implement it in your training and also of course changing things you can have other type of exercises important is to connect the three elements physical effort training deploying the blade striking with the blade creating space disengaging from the x application of a tourniquet so I am taking basically the kettlebell. This is the exercise of the kettlebell. I am taking the kettlebell, and what I am doing is swinging the kettlebell. So basically, from a bending, I'm bending my knees. I am with the weight between my legs. I am going back. I am raising the kettlebell down, back, up, 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 up. All the time. When the kettlebell up, after the kettlebell it's up, where I'm using force to raise it, when it's coming down, I'm letting my body, but not bending from my back. I'm not making this. This it will destroy in time your back. My back is straight and I let it to go and I'm bending my knees with the weight. So I'm up, down, up, down. My back is straight. Up, down, up. Down, up, down. So I will make 20 repetitions of this exercise using the kettlebell. After I'm putting it down and then I make 10 repetitions as fast as I can, deploying the blade, striking the target, moving one step. So now, even if you know that in reality I say, man, you are striking and I create as much distance as I can, here I will move only one step. I'm striking one step as fast as I can, put my blade down. And again, why? Because I put accent on this drill on increasing the respiration, the heartbeats, and implemented this stress based on physical effort. So I don't need to make a long pause. I make 10 deployments with striking one movement, then I have an injured limb. I'm choosing, for example, the hand. I'm taking the tourniquet out. I am applying the tourniquet.
So it's very important guys to understand that this type of drill can be changed how you want. You can use other type of exercises. Important is to increase your heartbeats, increase your respiration and redirect of course the blood to big groups of muscles. These are some changes that also in a flight, fright or freeze type of response of your body will happen. So simulate this using physical effort, deploy after your blade, strike, move, apply the tactical combat system elements and then combine it with trauma medicine. The application of the tourniquet can be of course also on the leg, can be on another person. Yeah, If you have a training partner, you can make this and apply to other victim, for example, a tourniquet. Important is to combine all this together. Stay safe and train hard.